lagi Cukula kalau dapat ke teori ini Buru kaya kapak di dulu kumba Cukulu kumba lagi Lime, 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 disease Let's go Five, four, three, two, one I made a creek <laughs> Indian today I did Welcome to Tulsa, Oklahoma um, I've been shooting uh, The reason why the gang is out here Because I've been shooting reservation dogs And um, I've just been Entrenched in native culture That's all I think Knowing you've been adopted I'm adopted by them um, You know it's, you know, it's an in- interesting theory can I, can I tell you a theory? Yeah What do you think? So there's You know There's a lot of people that think that Natives are descendants from Asia your mom, I think, um, believes that. I think my mom believes she that. Said that. No, yeah. she thinks she thinks the reverse. Yeah, no. So yeah, that, that's where I'm going to go. So, <laughs> a lot of people think that, um, you know, there's Ching Chongs back in the day. In yeah. China, I don't know what they call them, but Asians. Back in the day, they call them Ching Chongs. Yeah, yeah. 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 And <laughs> back in the day, and they went up Russia. They crossed the Bering Strait. Mm-hmm. They drifted into North America. Hence, you have the natives, mm-hmm. right? But there, I believe, and my mom believes in a theory, that if natives start, it started here, and the natives went up, right? Mm. And I guess it was really sunny where the Bering Strait is because their, their eyes got all slanty. I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was, like, who, I, I who, want, wait, walk me through that. How did yeah, you get stuck you, again? Yeah, I want you to <laughs> explain <laughs> to me the adaptation that led yes, to yes, um, yes, yes, um, yes. smaller eyes. A real... A, a funny angle or a real angle? No, what you think the reason is. Uh, what, why? I've asked scientists and, and historians this question over the years. Specifically, and no one which gives scientists? Me. Dr. Kobayashi, obviously. Dr. Kobayashi <laughs> and um, Dr. Ken Jung. That's only the doctors I know. <laughs> Just two. <laughs> Doctor, yeah. So, um, well, so anyway, so I, how does the Asian's eyes? Um, it has, probably has to do with sunny. <laughs> That was sunny. Wait, where specifically was it sunny? In China, it must have been really sunny there. Okay. Right. Also, secondly, you know, maybe they jerked off a lot and they made oh, they made the face. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The orgasm got stuck. Yeah, yeah, we we like to jerk off a lot. Asians I, do. I, I well, do. that's what my mom says. Like you cannot. Like we were never allowed to intentionally cross our eyes because she says if a wind hits it, it'll stay stuck there like that. Uh huh. And I think that's what happened to me. <laughs> oh, that could have been. Because I'm kind of sl- sort of cross-eyed sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another theory. I, Asians are suspicious. Oh. Uh. So they're they're always. Oh. You know what I mean? They're always investigating and suspicious about things. You know. <laughs> And when you're constantly suspicious, your eyes get, you know, and they yeah, just yeah. get locked in, you know what I mean? In that way. Yeah. It's like, um, that guy doesn't belong in this neighborhood. Mm. Right? But then the guy from the neighborhood is looking at suspicious. you and like, why is that guy looking at me? You know but what I mean? his eyes slant? Yeah, everyone's eyes are slant because everyone's suspicious, suspicious of each other. Oh. And over there, so, you, my, my, so it's Never sunny. About that. Think about this. Yeah, yeah. Super sunny. Okay, why? So they walk out, oh, Too God, much. it's sunny, right? What is that guy doing here? I gotta go to the bathroom. Jerk off. Oh. Jerk off. Jerk off. <laughs> right, right. And the wind blows. And then the wind blows. Oh, right. And it's like constant. Your eyes are constantly, you know, and it's like, it turns out this way over time. Genetics, yeah. Genetics, you know, yeah. not genetics, through no. the environment. Oh, so you're saying if that didn't exist, everyone just has big eyes. Dude, we would be like little yellow dudes with big ass eyes. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. We would look like smaller whites with jaundice. <laughs> Smaller whites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that our eyes makes us, um, first of all, it sets us apart. But what I, what I hated about it is just the, it, the constant ridicule, especially when you're in America. I'm, you know what I mean? It's like they probably didn't have jokes in Asia. Like, Wait, what are the racist jokes for like, all, Chinese people towards each other? Like, for instance, like I would be at a, um, you know, at a, a Hispanic friend's house and we're doing the pinata. But they would get me. Always got a pinata. Yeah, they would, they would give me. It's my turn to the pinata, pinata, yeah. and they would give me dental floss to cover my eyes. <laughs> right, that's yeah. good. And then they would, everyone would laugh. Ah, right, I would actually put it on. <laughs> right, and I'd say, "See, it doesn't work." Yeah, yeah. Because if my eyes were really that slant, slanty, that dental floss could fucking blind me. Yeah, I would be blind. Yeah, uh, or you would see. 
let me see. You would only see this. You know what? Everything would be um, you like in a movie, like when you see like letterbox. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just it would be like a criteria criterion collection movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just an art house film, but you know I mean? letterbox. Wow. I've been worried about <laughs> what? I've been worried about your left eye. Yeah. Because lately there's been a delay when it opens. I know. Because like this one opens first and this one stays sticky. Can I ask shut. you when that happened? What? Was it post COVID? Me- no. Me- no. My eyes before. Post COVID? My eyes been twitching. Cindy will go, your eyes twitching. Mm. The right eye. You never got conjunctivitis, so during COVID? Because I know that's one of the things that happens. I'll be honest, I don't even know what you just said. They're like pink eye. No, nothing. I'll tell you why mine's like this. No, don't give me that look. Did because you nut in your own you, eye? <laughs> no, you nut in your own eye. No, I didn't nut my own. That's crazy. My uh, first of all, my nut doesn't go up. Also, it does. It you, goes down. She's no. saying it does. It does. Yeah, it goes. Doo, doo. Yeah, but it doesn't like. I know. I you know. <laughs> I know dude, white dudes that ha- do a foot, two foot. Oh, George! Wow. You do one foot, two foot. I remember that story when you said you you somebody. Oh, uh, that was a Patreon only story <laughs> oh, back sorry. in the day. Yeah, he got. I'll tell you why my. On his glasses. I'll tell you why my left eye is like it was, this. Okay. It was in my eye. You know, there are some celebrities that I I get obsessed with, and I want to look like them. Oh, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Ah, that's what you're. I'm okay. a huge Forrest Whitaker fan. <laughs> you're you're aiming for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, welcome to the slumber party. Welcome episode. to slumber. Yeah, there's Gilbert yeah. in the closet. Always in the closet, <laughs> never out. Forever in the closet. Forever, we think. guys. Um, what's interesting about Tulsa is no one gives a shit about us here. That's number one. No, oh, what are you, are you talking sure? about? The Chick Fil A. He just, he just, he just told me you guys you off a TikTok, and we don't even have a TikTok. But that's that's fucking not fair. When people go. <laughs> yeah. When people go, when they recognize you for something that you don't do, it doesn't feel good. Like I love you on TikTok. I never been on it. You're all over it. I am. There's yeah, so like many clips of you clips on it. Oh, so I guess you're a TikTok star. I'm a TikTok yeah. star. <laughs> I don't want to be, but thank you, whoever does that. <laughs> and then at the grocery store, um, I was walking down because you wanted fucking detergent. I want to wash your clothes. No, you do it for yourself, and let's be honest. I'm here for two days. Why would I need it for myself? You have no more underwear. Okay, I know. Oh. Yeah, but I don't. I rock. know. You can't side A, side B, sweetie. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I won't uh, 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 Not in wow. Tulsa. Not uh, in Tulsa. Okay, okay. Wow. I do A, side B, side when I'm on the road. <laughs> what? You don't do A, side B, side? I've never done it. Should I try it? Yeah, flip it. But then what about the like shit and sweat on the outside? It's it on the outside. You. It rubs against your pants. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good for Japanese salvage, she says. Yeah, it's good for the raw denim. The denim. Anyway, um, we were at the <laughs> grocery store, and um, I was walking down the detergent island, and there was a white guy there who was the manager. You know, he had a little tag on, and he froze st- still. And I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm some other guy. You still think that to this day? Oh, I still it get still it. Still happens. I still get it. It happens all the time. All the time. Mm-hmm. He's going to go, I love you on Heroes. You know, I've heard it all. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're great in Entourage. You know what I mean? And it's like, then you have oh. to explain to them, I'm not that guy. And then they have to go, yeah, you are. Oh. And then you have to, and then you <laughs> yeah, have to you fight. Are. You have to fight for yourself, right, to convince them. Mm-hmm. And then you pull out your phone and you Google your name. And then you Google, the, and then you Google, Google Rex, you know, name and yeah. compare the two. Yeah. And then 30 minutes goes by. It's a full waste of time. Anyway. You've held up the line at Rite Aid. Yeah. So this dude goes, um, hey, oh, I can't believe you're here. And I go, who do you think I am? And oh, he goes. That's a good. That's a better approach. I like that. Because then you're testing them and then they're embarrassed to say. If they're not sure, then they won't say the wrong answer and hurt your feelings. Yeah. I also do this. I'll go. Yeah, dude, I know. I work at the P.F. Chang's. That's a good one. Like, I'll, you know what I mean? Diffuse Make it. a joke out of it or something, mm-hmm. right? Or we went to high school together. That's another dumb thing I say. You don't know we went to high school together. And they go, what school do we go to? <laughs> and I go, that one. I don't know. Anyway, he goes, I go, who do you think I am? And he goes, look at my hair. And I looked and I go, you have red hair. He goes, yeah. Uh. And I go, oh, you're thinking, he goes, Santino. So that's, once he said Santino, yeah. I go, he knows bad friends. Then I go, he goes, I'm only going to be at this job for two more weeks. I quit. And I go, what are you going to do? He goes, I don't know. He goes, I want to do comedy. That's what he said. And I go, if you don't do it in two weeks, you're never going to do it. 
Maybe you were his god shot. Mm. Do you think? Could be. Where where else are you going to find a guy who wants to do comedy that is like a pure ginger in final form? Like watching what Bobby Lee. What are the, excuse me, can we walk through the stages? Yeah. I've never found, I've never met an underdeveloped <laughs> <laughs> ginger. If there was. Is there one out there? Where are they under, under so what you're saying is at one point I go, Oh, it's finally done. <laughs> like there it's like yeast. What is it? Like Santino's final form, right? Yeah. No, no final, he's definitely not final form. Final form. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needs final to... form has nothing to do with appearance. Final oh, form has everything to do with means appearance. that you are at a certain part of your life where you're usually final form is like you've hit like absolute enlightenment. Your final form before you pass. Oh, I thought you were talking about gingers. You yeah. were talking about gingers, babe. I know, but I'm just saying here is a fucking ginger who is in a transition in his life. He's finally making, he's finally quitting his job to pursue comedy and he yeah. comes across Bobby Lee buying laundry detergent. In Tulsa. In Tulsa, yeah. In some random grocery store. What are you going to say, George? Oh, I was just wondering if that's when gingers get their soul when they finally reach final form. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's why Andrew doesn't have a soul? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying to say about your I'm not, boss? I, you're, I, I don't I'm going to tell Andrew you said forms. that. Let's I don't see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was yeah. going to throw it on Kalila. Yeah, she George knows said that you're forms. soulless. <laughs> I actually don't know what final form means. Yeah, the, don't say shit then, baby. <laughs> Guy. Is there a ginger without pale skin? Is that underdeveloped? Yeah, me. I'm underdeveloped ginger. My, my that, white side is um, part ginge. Really? Yeah, that's why I have like, if you look under the sun, I don't have, I have like auburn hair. My uh, grandma had, my grandma had um, dark red, red hair. Mm-hmm. Mm. So let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday, you guys came into town. We, uh, I shot all day. And we took scooters, oh. and we went to a restaurant. What would you think? Loved it. It's well, called Lowood. So good. It's in Tulsa. Can you guys believe I'd never been on a scooter before? Oh, you told us for three hours. Well, I thought you guys were for sure going to leave me because that's what Bobby does. And guess what? He left me. Well, how, <laughs> no, how do you go slow? On, I, 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 uh, I, I got to ask. You know what, George? I, 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 I don't know what you're about to say. I'm going to get in trouble for that, you. But can you're, I get in yeah, trouble get in for trouble. you? Yeah, get in trouble. Uh, I'll get the one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Ahead, how can you go slow on those scooters? Like, it's you either punch it all the way. You must not know me. You must not know how I rode those brakes for a whole mile. Oh, you were holding the brake down the whole time. That's more dangerous because your your hand is doing two things. That you're more likely to crash if you hold both things. Like you got to hold the grip hard and then just goose it. Guess what, George? You guys did a poor job at explaining how to safely do it. That's not true at all. I guess I'm I'm on George's time (laughs) um, side. (laughs) That's absolutely not true. Okay, number one. You know what Gilbert said though. What did Gilbert what, say? What did I say? <laughs> On our way back from Lowood, the restaurant, which was delicious, where uh, we had ice cream over salad and it blew my freaking mind. It blew mind. my mind. How Blue cheese, was? ice cream it, on greens. Yeah. And Yo. walnuts and pecans or something. It was and real. jalapenos. Can, jalapenos, really good salad. Great place. If you're ever in Tulsa, go. So freaking good. Save money, know. though. Save money for it. Yeah, save money. Yeah, save, and we're going to money. tonight also um, Bull in the Alley. Yes. The little, um, uh, I just want to let you know. We'll, we'll we'll talk about it later, but you know, yeah. Prepare well, yourself. What, what did I say after? What I say? What I say? Um, what? So so uh, after dinner, I was experiencing some digestion issues. So I had you had diarrhea all night, massive diarrhea all night. Yeah, all night. It happens a lot to me. I have colitis, but then I choose to just eat everything anyways. And so um, we got back on the birds on the scooters. And then I was like, you guys, like, wait for me, wait for me, because I was still kind of um, unlocking the bird. And Bobby was like, see ya. <laughs> so he had already, like, gone. And then, George, you followed, because you're an asshole, too, I guess. Well, I got to, like, keep the desk, like, be the mm-hmm. person in between. Or nice. And, nice, and nice. Gilbert said this to me. He goes, I now know um, the things, like, watching you and Bobby, I now know why Cindy gets mad at me for the things that I do. <laughs> because that's, I think uh, you know what? That's all. Uh, that's, you know what? You know what, Gilbert? Who was, who you, know, you know what, man? Moment. You know what, man? You know you don't know because you 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 don't. I know. just realized I'm a reflection of you. Mm-hmm. He's no. Mini you. no, 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 just you. I, no, no, no. Like I was telling you, if you're final form, I'm like seven. Like I don't like go see. I go. Oh, leave me alone. Uh, no. and, I bur- and I bird away. Had a half speed than you. Yeah. No, no, no. He was able to realize through me being left behind that he leaves Cindy behind often. No, no, no. Let me ask you guys something, okay? Yeah. When you're doing a marathon, okay? Yes. I've tried to picture myself. When you're on a marathon, yeah. right? 
do you jog or run? You do either one, right? I walk. Right? You do either one, right? You pick one speed. Right? Yeah. Walk is fine. What you were doing with the scooter was crawl. If, if, you, was, if you saw mm. the Boston Marathon and you saw some guy from the starting lineup just get on his hands and knees and start crawling, you would think that that's a little weird. Hey, terrible joke, but she wouldn't have died. Yeah. What? She wouldn't have died at the Boston <laughs> Marathon. Oh, wait, she would have wait, been wait, wait, so wait, wait, saying What you're saying to me is this, right? I would have made it because I would have been You would have got to the last. end because that's where the bomb went off? Yeah, and she's still like halfway in the And front. George and I would have no legs right now? We would yeah. all be dead. <laughs> Kalila is like, see ya. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's an interesting theory. Yeah. I, maybe the marathon wasn't a good analogy. Yeah. That would have like, been too dark. Sorry. It's basically it's a little dark. like the the famous fable: the rabbit and the the turtoast. <laughs> the the to- yeah, the rabbit and the toaster. Yeah, yeah, the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Classic story. The classic story. <laughs> Tell, you know what, Gilbert? Explain me the old the, the story of Dude, the rabbit and the toaster. You don't know the rabbit and the toaster. Yeah, so what's, what's the theory? The, what's the, what's the, the, the philosophy? It's the toaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ship station. Ah, oh, guys. Um, you know, if you're an online, you have an online business, yeah, and you you need your merchandise getting out there. ShipStation is the only place to be. It's what we use. Yeah. If you run an e-commerce business, you probably feel like it's about time people stop treating e-commerce giants better just because they're bigger. And you're absolutely right. That's why ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers of all sizes access to the same deeply discounted rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. Wow. You know, we have an online you know, business. I have several of them. You know, And I don't know how to do any of it. And ShipStation is just a, a, a reliable infrastructure. It makes it, 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 it allows us to ship everything easier yeah. and allows us to save money as well. Works with over 300 platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more to automate processes like fulfillment and tracking so you can save time managing orders. Guys, don't let the big guys keep all the good discounts to themselves. Sign up using promo code BELLY for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start saving with every shipment that's two whole months of discounted shipping absolutely free just go to shipstation.com click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in belly shipstation make ship Ship happen happen. (laughs) yeah yeah tell me the philosophy there okay so a lot of it's a (laughs) i don't even know where to start with (laughs) tell me the fucking fable of the rabbit and the coaster all right tell me you started we'll we'll do we'll finish the story there were two two friends one was a toaster and one was a rabbit (laughs) Yeah. And then they were like, this? "Let's join the Let's join the Boston Marathon." Is what oh they God! Said. I remember this old fable my dad used. To, okay, to keep going. <laughs> well, let's not use a fucking tragedy. Let's use a, yeah. A don't different. use the Boston Marathon again. Yeah, the, yeah. The, like the, the Tulsa 10K. Yeah, yeah. The Tulsa. No, use Columbine. Use Columbine. Yeah, it's a less dark. <laughs> it's still dark, but less dark. Yeah. And, and yeah, but but the story said it in 1945 German. Eh? Yeah, do that. Yeah, do not say German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nazi. Wait, that's the end. That's okay. Oh, that's the end of the story. Okay, guys, so go ahead. The so, rabbit and yeah. the toaster friends. Well, the, the the toaster and their friends, right? Yeah. And then the rabbits all fucking like you know. I'm gonna get to Lowood Restaurant first because I like their porterhouse steak. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna fucking you know step on it. And, go 30 miles per hour yeah. and then the toaster is like well i'm made of metal i don't have legs like that my friend <laughs> yeah yeah it's not walking yeah i'm not made for movement so i'm just going to kind of slowly move you know what i mean mm. let the wind what? take me let the wind take me okay so tell said. me how the toaster wins in this it's Continue. very windy in oklahoma <laughs> okay it's so windy uh, number one can i just i would just have a just a logistical question please do okay um if the toaster goes more than 30 feet it dies because it needs to be plugged into yes. the fucking no, wall. No, no. Yes. Oh, no. it's a solar panel. Solar it's panel. a solar polar. Uh, you, explain that. Yeah. So Ooh. this particular toaster, the first <laughs> is solar. Yeah. The first, generated. the first iteration of this toaster, which was his grandpappy toaster, mm-hmm. yeah. was very insecure about the fact that he would just travel a few paces and then all of a sudden he would die. Right. So well, how third, long? How long ago did this fable occur? Is this a wives' tale from like three hundred years ago? Aesop fables. It's an Aesop, Aesop fable. fable. Yeah. So they knew about solar technology back I then. I think so because guess how long? <laughs> guess how long the sun's been around? Okay, that's a very good point. That's you know right. what I mean? Right. Good point. Guess how long it's been around? How long has the sun been around? Since the Big Bang? I don't even know. 
<laughs> I think it's before actually. No, right? What this? No, the sun wasn't around before the Big Bang. The Big Bang started all of it, right? Well, I'm just saying I've been watching a lot of Moon Knight, and there's multiple suns. Oh well, yeah. I, I understand that, but George, just back me up here, okay? <laughs> the universe started from the Big Bang, right? Yeah. Right. So well, you, no, you're, you're, a, you're saying that there was three suns. He believes in creationism. Out. Well, okay. we can equate that with the Big Bang. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, ahead. this is good. This yeah, is good. The, the beginning was the. <laughs> I have to fart. He's been reading a lot of Young. He could do this. Oh, oh my God! That's where George has to sleep. <laughs> and I rest my case, Gilbert. There you go. Yeah. that was a big. Talk bang. about a big bang. Okay, go. So, um, <laughs> it's a small you, bang, babe. It's a small bang. Tiny bang. So t- explain to me about. I, this is all over the place, but we're going to go back to the toasting. Oh, I want to finish this story, so yeah. Yeah. So I don't even know what I'm explaining anymore. The Big Bang is the beginning of everything. It's so the before everything. that, there was no there sun. There was no sun. So that's... There's right, no sun. Yeah, okay, no go, sun. And go ahead. And it could also be the time well, that I'm, God created like, I'm, light. I'm living... I'm telling this story... PBS presents... AD. Aesop's Fables <laughs> with... The rabbit and the, the toaster. toaster. The, the, toaster. <laughs> the, the, the toaster. toaster. And I didn't even say toaster. I said tortas. <laughs> it's not a light toaster. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Tortas. <laughs> okay. And so the first grandpappy toaster was like, we need to adapt and be better. So he created solar panels for the next generation, right? And so what had happened was um, then baby toaster is now born with this capability to move. And so he meets this fucking rabbit somewhere in fucking The Gathering in Oklahoma, which mm-hmm. was made by George Kaiser, is what I learned, right? And so he meets this guy there, and he was like, bro, let's go to Lowood. <laughs> bro, they yeah. got good um, bok choy with white truffle miso. Oh, and okay. rabbit was like, fuck yeah, let's go. But then rabbit, <laughs> right? <laughs> Fantastic yeah. details. <laughs> These fables are for kids, by the way. Yeah. yeah. They're like, what's the white kids, truffle? Like, what the what's a white truffle? Yeah, yeah. So, but Rabbit is a dum dum, right? So he oh. just. Oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. That was kind of direct. <laughs> and then Rabbit has like a, f- a friend that wears glasses. Yeah. What is he's, that? He's. He's a human, but weirdly enough, he's dumber. <laughs> yeah, but but the rabbit. Let me ask you something. From what I recall from the Aesop's table, I think right? his name is Jorge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but the rabbit is um. Very talented. Uh, <laughs> does the rabbit, the rabbit is very the talented. Rabbit sell out the rabbit shows? Sell can, out weekends? Yeah, the rabbit can sell out pretty much in any city in America. Anyway. Is he famous on TikTok without even posting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a yeah, cool yeah, rabbit. yeah, yeah. It's a pretty cool rabbit. And the toaster, you know, uh, when the toaster, it happens to be a woman, the toaster. I don't know if you remember that. Ace <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And when the toaster pees, it has to wet its f- feet, uh, its toaster feet. <laughs> it electrocutes itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so that's what happened. And he got this fucking dumb friend named Jorge with glasses or whatever. And they're like, <laughs> well, okay, let's just go. Let's just go. And then they're fucking booking it over there, booking it over there. Yeah. I, I have an actual question about the fable. Why is it bad to be the rabbit again? Oh, because he <laughs> is... And this is the man who uh, doesn't know about the Big Bang? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think... Because you know, slow you, and steady you wins recap the race. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Slow and Let's steady wins the, the race. No, no, no. no. Get this. Fast and that? reckless does not but win then the race. How, then how does Michael Phelps win every time? Because he's slow and steady up here. He's just... Fast with his body, but he's slow and steady in his mind. Yeah, and I was words, fast right with the scooter. I'm slow and steady in my mind. <laughs> Damn. Right? But, but exactly. At the, <laughs> but at the end, at the end of this fable story, this Aesop fable. Thank you. What's that? Uh, people applauding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of it, though, the rabbit gets there and he realizes the butcher has run out of elk for the for the main course, and he was like, "Well, there's a fucking rabbit and a dumb and his dumb friend Jorge." <laughs> And he butchers them and kills them, and then the toaster eats them. Mm. I don't know who won this. Geico presents <laughs> <laughs> Aesop's Fable by Kalila Q. Okay, good. Oh, Thank you. That's amazing. That's great. Anyway, so we the meal was good. We came back, and um, I worked today, and now we're doing the pod. Thanks for coming here, guys, all the way to Tulsa. Um, you guys are leaving tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be here for another seven days or something. Mm-hmm. Um. You don't feel like a king here? I was, uh, me and George were. King, what king? No, because me and George, uh, Kalala was in the bathroom having diarrhea when we were talking outside. When am I not having diarrhea? That's true. That's a better question. Jesus Christ. We were trying to convince Bobby that he should live in a place like this. Like a small town where he's kind of like the mayor of the town. Everyone knows him, but he doesn't have to deal with Hollywood bullshit. But when he wants to deal with that, he just flies back to Hollywood. Would that ever be an option for us? Well, I went on Redfin with George when we were at uh, Chick-fil-A. And uh, I was looking at some of the houses. First of all, 
the amount of money that we spent on our house um, in L.A. would have bought us acres of land. Oh, man. I mean, I could have my ranch out here. Um, oh. Yeah. I Controversial have... statement, but I might like Tulsa more than L.A. I love it here. That's bold. You love L.A. Yeah. I, you I know, love I, I love it here, too. And that's but, you know, I can take it only like maybe a week out of the year <laughs> like this. Mm. I like how I don't know. It feels very peaceful. Um, it it has a really cool arts district. Like I don't feel like I'm completely in the middle of nowhere. It has a very like cool like a uh, indie kind of vibe to it. Yeah, I j- I, 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 <laughs> I I can't be in a state where abortion is illegal. Oh yeah, I'd be fucked, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So we would have had two kids if we lived here back in the day. Mm-hmm. Number two, I just find that to be, I don't know. And then, and also, the, uh, let me just say about something about the white people. They're really nice. The white <laughs> people here are really nice. But, but, but what's the but? <laughs> no, there's no but. They're really nice. And. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there are some white people that you can tell they look th- past you. Okay. Like I'm. Um, I, I'm telling you, this is not out of my own, own imagination. I- imagination. I think Gilbert just felt it. Yeah, I felt it at the, at the airport. <laughs> at the airport, right? Yeah. It's almost as if, like, if you're walking down a hallway, and there's some white people, God bless them, are walking towards you, and somebody has to move out of the way. It's either there's going to be a collision, or I have to move. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not moving. That's so the only think- option. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to move. They're they're not going to go. Excuse me, and and move off to the side, yeah. right? Um, like they had some sort of wedding banquet or something here with the real estate convention. Real, real estate, estate convention. Yeah. So you, could, you could see like, I you know, white dudes in a suit. Not it's like a tuxedo, but they wear the, their cowboy hats, mm-hmm. and then they're with their you know an older white dude, but then you know a blonde younger wife, and they're wearing a gown. They 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 don't look at you, they don't smile, they just walk past you. You know, babe. When you look at me, you don't see me as like your young hussy. <laughs> Am I past that? You're like milf. <laughs> <laughs> You're not milf. <laughs> You're not milf. This is where I always feel. <laughs> this is where I always feel like I fucked up. Why? Because I'm like, okay, like I like the idea when someone's older than me, then I can always be like the younger wife. But with you, it's like you age backwards, so it's I kind of fucked myself. No, like no, the not. youngest looking fifty year old in history. No, well, number one, I know I'm getting older because I'm sitting in the makeup chair a little longer. <laughs> oh, more makeup. Yeah, like I have these liver spots now mm-hmm. that Mr. Miyagi had and other Asians. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's exclusive. Yeah, it's not exclusive to um, Pat Morita, but, you know, um, when because I, I used to see like Pat Morita f- in magazines or whatever. If I saw him, you know, I was always kind of fascinated by the man. Mm-hmm. And um, he has liver spots. I saw um, Getty Wananabe when I did uh, He was Long Duck Dong. Yeah. And if I look at his face, there's some liver spots. It's a, it's just a old Asian men get it. Mm-hmm. It's from the sun, I think. Sweetie, all humans get it. You have liver spots? When he gets older, he will absolutely get it. It's an age thing. I've never seen a white dude have it. Oh, yeah. White dudes have it. White people have it. Really? Mm-hmm. Promise well, I mean, you. yeah, but that's, I'm getting old. Yeah. And if you look at my mustache now, there's about 12 white hairs. Mm. <gasps> but see that's r- super sexy it is yeah salt and pepper is something that i have always found attractive in young guys because some dudes get it especially because it's really uh, filipinos get it a lot yeah so f- some filipinos get it when they're teenagers even or when they're mm. like 14 years old yeah and they always have that salt and pepper kind of i've always thought it was the sexiest thing yeah mm. i'm not i'm not gonna do what my uncle my uncles used to like at the age of 50 or 60 get a perm and then dye their hair. <laughs> so this pitch that? black hair with a per, like, like almost like a curly. Yeah, yeah it's like unnaturally black, and it looks too. weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they go hello, and I go, you're fucking look like a clown. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're a yellow clown, man. Like it, it looks ridiculous. How do they greet you? Hello. <laughs> you know. What I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they would like come in with like button up shirts with that yeah. were like unbuttoned. Did yeah. you have a favorite uncle growing up? Or aunt? No. (laughs) 
No, I don't. Oh think man, it sucks. I mean, what do you mean, like favorite? Like, were, did you ever have like a really good relationship with any of your moms or dads, like brothers or sisters? Like, who took you out? I had one aunt that used to make me and my cousins and stuff. She goes, "Go to Manjale. I want to. I want to see your penis." Mm-hmm. So we'd pull out our penises, and she would poke at our penises. And you should put in a lineup. In a lineup, yeah. Mm. No. You yeah. know what I mean. And I would always do a little giggle. You know what I mean, like, <laughs> like Pillsbury. Yeah, 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 yeah. How old were you? I don't know, eleven, twelve. Is that weird? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you would have said weird. like, if you'd have said younger, maybe, because like you know we get touched out there all the time. Really? Up. Yeah, but it's more over the pants. Over like, the pants. Like, no, I, like, we would like, pull. Now this sounds weirder. What are you talking about, Gilbert? So yeah. like sometimes auntie greetings. Oh yes, I know what Gilbert's you know about what I'm to say. About. Yeah, they'll try to. They're not going to go for it. They'll get close enough to the sun, but then then they expect us to turn away, like right. and chase us. So in like Filipino culture, it's a great touchy feely, maybe borderline inappropriate, but it's not unheard of for an auntie or an uncle to like. My mom does this. She has this word. I'm just so tired. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's what happened? I what mean, happened? that was the most. Like, if a director was like, "Give us more," <laughs> <laughs> was that exaggerated? It wasn't. I wasn't exact. That's how I yawn, dude. You're super tired. That is that. No, I'm. I do I'm a, just a dramatic you don't yawner. Do, you don't do more like. Did no. the toaster get unplugged? <laughs> what? Tried for a callback and had like it went all everywhere in my okay. head, all and right. then I went to. Uh, no, 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 stop for a second. Okay, no, no, no let's go I went, back. To, no, 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 we're not going to go back. To we're going to go. Just hold what you were thinking. No, 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 no. We need to finish this explanation. No, I, know, I, know, I know, we do. I do. I, I want to go back <laughs> to this. No, 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 no. We got to answer it. <laughs> so I, let, I just want to figure out what that. No, I want to. I need you to help me, Gilbert. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I yawned dramatically. Right. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do it. And then he did, does a toaster unplugged reference, a callback. <laughs> I'm trying to connect Can you try it. to figure out what the connection is? I think that was you maybe powering down like, <sighs> but in the analogy, I was the <sighs> rabbit. So it doesn't make any sense. He forgot that essential piece of information. <laughs> that dude, dude, I want you to see that, that feeling that you're right now. Right, I want you to just wallow in it, right? Yeah, that's the pain. Okay, but that's but you deserve it. He, he what if he risked it though? You, you threw it out there, but that pain, <laughs> man, that must hurt. Yeah, and I'm now remembering that when I did that open mics, ten people in the audience here, over half a billion. Yeah, mm. that's okay. Mm. Sorry, that happened. We're not editing that out. Now, Keep George. that in. All right, anyway, c- continue, babe. No, I feel bad because you were falling asleep to my. But no, no, but no we, that's not why. Wait, that wasn't stop. why. That wasn't why. You, that wasn't why. You can't just stop at our uncles and aunts touched us, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. You your uncles and aunts well, touched. T- t- to be fair, like yes, I got fucking you, you, nutted on my back multiple okay, times. That but, side, that side of it. That's okay, yeah, that true. In Filipino culture, whether or not we like it as children, we were supposed to just be okay with our aunts and uncles like kind of like play pretending that they would come fondle us and then it was supposed to be this big joke like even if you're an adult let's say for instance like my mom will do it to my best friend Jessica and she'd be like what is in there yeah. huh yeah, who yeah. has oh, that's yeah. the line what who is has, in there yeah, what is yeah. in there like that and and we're just supposed to like a giggle and like my mom has this word she is she calls it matching baby yeah like she will still come up to me and my sister and then she will do that to like, like matching baby, the, you know? The, yeah. The click grab. And you couldn't she, run. But you know, she does it to Gilbert and Gilbert just has to take it. Yeah. But it's like, if Gilbert's aunt or uncle did that to me, I would have to understand it on some cultural level yeah. and not be offended by You're, it. Yeah. It depends. There's some, yeah. Because you, they should be, be like, Tito, no, no, Tito. Oh, I don't like that. My dad will <laughs> oh, like that too. That's no. weird. That's weird. <laughs> and you couldn't run because then you would get <laughs> unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Thank you. I Thank like you. that one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Netflix is a joke, baby. Yeah, See yeah, Bobby yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is this okay. is why yeah. this is why I will never do stand up. Why? Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night at all the times you would like come for me in the same way you come for George. I I would die, I think. I don't come no, listen. Can I just say something, okay? When you t- tell jokes on podcasts or even in our private life, all right, it's it makes sense. Even, 
even if, honestly, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? It, yeah, it makes sense. Even if like you know, the switch or the it's if it's not that hard hard of a joke, hard right? Hitting. I can still figure out like, oh, I see why, or and I, I could I I know when to pretend to laugh even with me. Yeah, with you. What he did made absolutely <laughs> no sense at all, right? And the timing was weird. There was no confidence behind it because he questioned it. Go ahead. No, I can explain myself. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can, you, can you explain that see, moment? Yeah. yeah. I, I, might, I, I think I've realized I'm not the star of this podcast. <laughs> oh. So I wait until the conversation comes to a, like, a logical end, and then I interject. Yeah. And I'm still coming up with a comeback for like, about a paragraph or two behind. Like a minute later. Yeah. yeah okay. Here's, okay. So this oh, one, so I had a whole conversation in my head, and then that was the punchline. So he's saying he's handicapped. No, no, no I, George, you and I are very similar in the sense that we cannot come up with comebacks on the spot. That's just not who we are. It takes a while for the information to travel from our brains to our mouths, and we cannot compete with someone like this. So, like, don't even try. I'm not good. You're the rabbit. You're no, I'm still, I'm still at the beginning of this podcast when we were talking about, like, Asian eyes being widescreen, and I wanted to say... Is that why Quentin Tarantino has an Asian fetish? Is that why Quentin Tarantino has an Asian Asian fetish? Because he loves wide angle things, and I'm still trying to figure out where do I get that? Where do I fit that in? I thought of it. That's not funny. (laughs) (laughs) So that's why. No, no, I, you, you know, you know let's stop, stop, It's stop. a conversation starter. There, we there, love Quentin there's Tarantino. There's so many. Go, l- we l- go many listen places. to what I'm saying, George. Okay. There are so many w- moments in my mind where I go, throw, say it, say it, right. But I do have a fil- filter, and in my head, ninety percent of the time, it, I go, I don't think it's funny, so just don't say it. I think that the Tarantino joke and the and the ra- and the, and the toaster joke were ones that you just put in the bin. I, I, yeah, I, I you just reminded me of Cancun now. Okay, what happened, what happened to Cancun? Cancun? We had pasta that was <laughs> way too soft. Yeah. Okay. I was at a table with you, Andrew Santino, and Tom Segura. Mm. Somebody said, is this pasta al dente? Mm-hmm. I was like, there's got to be a play on words here. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Yeah, yes. There's got to be a play on words here. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't ask where yourself that. <laughs> there's, where there's something the opposite of al dente, which is where, like, al gumbo or al gummy. Mm. I threw it out there because I thought. What did you say? What did you say? Um, no, the pasta here is al gumbo, and then everybody just kind of like paused. <laughs> what do we? T- <laughs> I mean, I remember now, and, a, and I think I was drunk. Was, was, this, was I drinking? Uh, I yeah, I, think yeah, I had so. a couple of uh, cocktails. Maybe you laughed at it. You don't remember? No, no, no. I uh, I, I, uh, I think without the liquor, he would have died. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. What well, happened? To, what did what did, what did uh, Tom Segura and Andrew Santino do? Uh, it was a dead moment, and then you asked me why I said that, and then <laughs> I said, "I'm here with three comedians. If I can get one laugh, it'll last the rest of my life. And if I don't, then I'll forget it forever, and it won't live with me." It's, and that part a was a attitude. lie. That it's part a, he, was a lie. It's oh. still with me every time I throw out a joke that doesn't work. Can I'm we, like, <sighs> I had a chance with, but I still um, can't figure out the thought. Like, I've tried to. I've tried to come up with a perfect answer for the like the perfect punchline for this. I haven't gotten it. What's a what's an al dente? More like al gumbo. <laughs> no, no come up with a punch. Dude, what's what's the opposite sock. of al dente? I'm not a pl- okay. First, number it's one. All right, dente. I got you, you to, George. I got you. You have, to, you have to know what kind of comedian you are, right? And I'm not a play on words guy. I don't know. I don't know how to do puns. I don't know. I don't do any of that, right? Yeah. What's you know, my comedy is more mean sometimes, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then I, and silly. You know, I, mean, I can do silly good too, right? So, number one, I don't think... Are you a play on words kind of a guy? Uh, a little bit too much, so I think that's my weakness. Yeah. Number one, when you're around comedians, and this is a, I think this is real, okay? Y- you'll never go wrong with mean, mm-hmm. okay? Okay. But not... You know, you don't attack Tom Segura, you know what I mean? Like, don't do it. You know, I like your titties or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, not that he's fat, I'm just saying, you know? Don't make fun of his wife or don't you know what i mean but you know you could i would love to see this actually if he had like a piece of acne on it well, like if i'm tom segura we're at dinner right i'm tom segura george just look at me okay okay and i have a little piece of acne on my chin but then also i'm the waiter and Is i go your chin yeah, why, why did you point your to your temple your temple <laughs> wow <laughs> okay so, right, so who's all gumbo has, now <laughs> yeah, i'm all gumbo right I'm all right gumbo. easy baby i'll unplug you <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Enough of this fucking silliness, okay? 
So what I'm saying is, is that if I'm Tom Segura and I have an acne on my, you know what I mean, cheek. There we go. Right. <laughs> think, think of a joke. I have one. Oh, wait, and the waiter is also there. The yeah, waiter says, I, "Oh, I, this pasta's al dente." Yeah. Now you're uh, conflicted. What do you got? A lot yeah. of options. Here. I, 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 I know what you want to. I know. I know what I would do. I would. I do too. Okay, okay go, go ahead. first. You go first. You, you go do. first. All right. Yeah. I would. I would look at Tom Segura and go. Um, do you want uh, what is, what's a al gumbo? What no? What is it? <laughs> Wait, uh, al dente? Yeah. Do you want al dente or does your friend want al dente? Mm-hmm, exactly. You love that one. Yeah, I, I love that. that one so I love many that. Times. That's a good. one. I love that one. Right? I was gonna go with the classic. Who's your friend? Yeah, like, that, we, that's we only what, I have a that. table for six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your friend. Or yeah. you go. Oh, we're good on the parmesan. There's some on his face. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we yeah. That very face. good. Yeah. And then you would say. Yeah. Red pepper. We already have red pepper. Red, red, on. We have one red pepper on his face. So what's your joke? Put him on the spot after we, uh, <laughs> after we do five of them. <laughs> every, every angle we already took. <laughs> uh, could I have a straw to eat this pasta? What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It's what so soft you can, you can eat it with a straw. No, I'm saying you have to do a reference on his the fucking acne. acne on his face. You could be you like, fuck. are you going to eat that gnocchi? And then point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I'm still on the pasta. I, uh, <laughs> Gilbert are said that sure? was still part of it. Uh, all right. Dude, I love it, dude. From love now, you, uh, for this podcast specifically, all right, <laughs> I really want you to throw it out by the end of the night, or? And, and I want you to be mean, okay? Yeah, let's go, and he, George. And, and George, I'm going to tell you something right now. You can say whatever you want, even toward me, and I will. This is the rule for just for today. I will not hold resentment, and I will not be mad. Go and and races. you can go full mean. And if you are scared, and go fat jokes all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not fat anymore. No, me. If you're scared oh. to do it to him, yeah, yeah. I'm fat jokes I, all I am also available for practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I want you to just, like, think you're a for New York comic, you know, you're hanging out you know, with Norton and all these guys, right? And you need to fucking prove yourself. Okay? So don't do it right now, right? Just but, relax. And don't edit. Don't go, I'm gonna wait for Bobby to stop <laughs> talking and then I will say it, right? <laughs> I want you to fucking interrupt me, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And just go for it, dude. You're not going to hurt me, dude. All right? Okay. This is the new rule. All right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Uh, so, Sex in the City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We did five acting jokes and he still did the pasta. I, I know, it's ridiculous. Wait, hang on. I have... Peloton, Peloton. Peloton. You guys, um, I literally use this thing. Number one, um, I don't exercise. Yeah. I barely yoga. The only co- form of exercise that I do do um, in a consistent basis is the Peloton. You know, you have workouts and, and, and people, but th- you know what I love? I love free riding and mm-hmm. I like doing the scenic routes, which is what I do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't use any routes. I'll just watch my iPad and just, and just jiggle my legs. <laughs> I think that Peloton has it all. It is what, it is my number one go-to for working out. Let's say for instance, you want to just go on a 20 minute jog. Mm-hmm. You have a trainer in your ear telling you, speed it up, slow it down, and basically break out or uh, break down that jog so that it doesn't seem like such a tedious, just boring 20 minute run. Um, the possibilities are endless on Peloton. It's what Bobby and I use. We love it. We swear by it. And follow us, um, befriend us on Peloton. Join us. Close it out, Jigel. <laughs> you almost called me Jiggle. Visit onepeloton.com to learn more. That's O N E P E L O T O N dot com. Once again, that's onepeloton.com. All right, guys, we are back. So, um, the Johnny Depp. Number one, I'm, I'm always on the side of women. You're right. Generally, when it comes to victim, victims and whatnot, right? But I am pro Johnny Depp on this. Same. Number one, right? He he, he lost his career in a w- weird way. You know what I mean? You know, um, and I, I don't know. I just it, it's when he's talking and I'm hearing her side of the story, it just seems far more plausible his point of view you know do you understand 
Yeah, I think what um, should we really fucks it up for him is the fact that clearly he was like deep into like his alcoholism and addiction at that time. Yep. So essentially, it's like it's easy for her to be like, "What is that squeaking?" So it's like a bird. It's a bird, babe. It's oh, a bird. Sorry, I'm so scared about birds. Oh, sorry. It's gonna it's gonna pick up on the thing. Yeah, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So, like, basically, he was, like, really deep into his addiction during that time. So, you know, like, I saw this picture that sh- um, was put out there of him passed out with, like, ice cream on his crotch and oh, his yeah. legs. Mm-hmm. like, And then it's, like, <clears throat> you know, it's it, it's hard when you're in the throes of addiction to be, like, what does he truly remember out of that? Yeah. You know? So, it's, like, I, I, I would put myself in that position, like, what, what? Like, you could basically tell him, you did this, you did that. And he'd be like, well, did I? You know? But uh, can I say something about, because I, you know, I'm recently now sober. I, I did have bouts of drinking, you know what I mean, when I was out there and stuff yeah. like that. And essentially, though, I just think that when you're drunk, you're still essentially yourself. Mm. I do. I do. You were watching The Bachelor. That's when you were drunk. And you literally, this came out of your mouth. I didn't know about this. You were this. like, I think this is the greatest show in existence. Whoa. And Whoa. you were such a fan of the Bachelorettes and their little tiffs that they were having with each other. Yeah. And or and, and you were like all the women on in Clayton's season. And you were like, this is so funny. But like genuinely enjoying it. But then the moment you got sober, you were like, why are you watching this crap, Kalila? That's interesting. Because if you look at my iPad, like it's upstairs, <laughs> right? downloaded onto my iPad is six episodes of The Bachelor when I was sober. Ooh, this so like you a- finished a season. Yes. Really? So you're wrong. Secretly you did. Yeah. Nice. I don't like openly so who admitting. Did you choose? I don't like openly <laughs> admitting that I am, right? I like fan. The Bachelor. But you can openly admit it while you're drunk. Yes. I see. Okay. okay. I understand. So, now it's this, out there. This is your opportunity, George, to rip into me. I mean, uh, there was a window. I was just going to repeat exactly what Kalila said. Bobby loves The Bachelor. Done. <laughs> oh, God. That wasn't mean, even. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he's just repeating what... what is it, George, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah, what is yeah. the meanest thing you felt like you've ever said about anyone? Well, he doesn't want to say it on this podcast. Well, like, what's the meanest thing you can think about saying? I know what he... He said something very mean. I'm going to just tell you. What? So I, I, I asked George <laughs> in the car, right? I asked George in the car. I go... If Andreas needed a lung, <laughs> right? Did you not, right? Yeah, we talked yeah, about yeah, this, yeah. right? Would you give him a lung? And mm-hmm. you go, you know what? I strongly think about it. That's a good Maybe. answer. Maybe. It's a friend. Right? I go, Bryce, your cousin. He said, no. And I go, why? He goes, if Bryce dies, <laughs> right, <laughs> I can still represent the family lineage. We still share enough DNA that I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on the DNA that we share. Oh. Right, so that's pretty mean. That is kind of horrible, George. The logic <laughs> yeah, it is horrible. But the yeah. logic's there because Andres dies. There's no one to carry it on. I'm proud of you for saying that out loud to Bobby. Well, so, Andres doesn't have cousins that can carry on the uh, lineage. Should we call? Well, Br- that wasn't part of this uh, this equation. Mm-hmm. It was me. I was the uh, I was the option. So yeah. I'd... Uh. Do you know that I've often thought about killing my own bloodline? Does that mean what? What, what does that mean? Um, I like for the longest time I used to think that oh I just my I have such a fucked up family that like why mm. would like you know how you have you have a desire George to like continue or like to pass on sow your wild oats as they say legacy like I want I've always felt a strong urge to do the opposite which is like no n- weird this is it ends with me I am not gonna perpetuate this horrible DNA oh I'm I hear what you're saying I thought you were saying you're gonna slaughter your whole family <laughs> yeah I was like what well, that's what it sounded like <laughs> also I, a possibility <laughs> I don't think you would slaughter your sister there's no, no way no way yeah, my yeah. sister is my everything or mama yeah, or your mom or my mom yeah. or Jules no, no. Yeah. I'll spank her though y- yeah wait is Jules <laughs> that sounded bad wait wait is you said it in a weird way you inflected up you went spank her let me ask you something yeah Jules doesn't share bloodline with you, though. She absolutely does. She does. How? Because technically, her mom is like my adopted sister, right? Yeah. But in in reality, she's my she's my first cousin. So Jules is my second cousin. Ah, okay, that's there how. Bloodlines. That's how. Yeah. Even though I call her my niece, because technically, which one's the one that you you discovered underneath the bleachers? 
That's Marianne. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you knew that. You just wanted to say You're it. an asshole. Bro, see that? That's how you do it. I honestly th- I didn't think it. In my head, I was like, is it bleachers or a bridge? It, it was bleachers. Is it bridge because right? it's troll? So mean. I, I didn't say she was a troll. But the options you went with bridge? In my, I'm just being honest with you. I go, did Marianne, did, 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 did you just discover her underneath bleacher? What do you mean? Like a sporting bleacher yes. at, a, at a school? No, no, no. Well, it's it's it, close. It was the swimming. You know, we had an Olympic sized pool yeah. called Abeliana. Uh-huh. And she didn't have a home to go to because she had <coughs> abusive parents. And she was part of the swim team. And she slept every night, every night under the bleachers. So, yeah. You asked you ask this once a year but on she's, the podcast. <laughs> Do I really? <laughs> yes. Oh. But she's thriving now. She lives in the United I States. I love her. She she's the best. She's, she's the best. We're still friends. Yeah. And, you know, you hate her, but it's okay. Yeah. I What? You hate her, but I it's don't okay. hate her. I love her. Really? Let me say something, okay? When I was at the Denver mm-hmm. Comedy Works, uh-huh. right? She came, mm-hmm. right? And um, she hung out with me all night in the green room. Yeah. So I think you it. used to have beef with her. You're okay. She now. was rude to me when I first met her. Yeah, she was. That's all. Yes, she was. Come at me. What? Come at me. What's there to come at? You've become nicer. Okay. This guy's uplifting. <laughs> this guy. This guy. You would not be a good roast guy. Yeah. Could you do a roast? It's kind of like Andy. He would do like Andy Samberg route. He just pretends to be mean, but it's nice. No, he, I, I, no, I, I could do a great roast. I just have to like think about it and write it. Right. Well, okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, you want me to roast you guys next uh, the next yes, show? Yes. Yeah, yes. that would be fun. Yeah, right. Yes, that's gonna be good. The next I'll show, we'll do a segment: George's roasts. Right. Time, and I want you to do down. three roast jokes toward each one of us. Mm-hmm. If I I'm, like get, it. but dude, you you have to be equally as mean. Right. You. I mean, you gotta go after Gilbert, G- dude. There's so much to go after. Come on. No, you don't have to tell me that. I know. Uh, Ooh, I like that energy. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like something? that. Yeah. Right. Already, but I just want to let you know, right? Already, we I know your sensitivities. Yeah. No, there are certain things that I believe that I could say to you okay. that you will make you so mad. But I thought roasting was, you're not going for the absolute no-no zone. You're going for things outside of the Dude, no-no they go, zone. Have you been to the roast battle? in? The I have. They go after dead parents that died a week ago. Yeah, but that's still not no-no zone. That's still a go. That's... Like I right, know right, your what, sensitivities. All right, what's my sensitivities? Let's do that. Okay, I. And, and this I is don't want to say it out no, loud. I want you to say it out loud. Maybe we'll edit it out. I want to know. I I want to see if you know. There's certain things I I learn to never talk about, and that's your. Um, you have an insecurity that you cannot act. Yep. Um, I can also not say that you're not funny. Yep. Um, I um, and those are the two main ones. But in a row situation, it would, the audience would be like, they'd rather go for physical or like... He doesn't care about physical. I know, but that's... Yeah, that I have no... I, I'm immune to physical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm immune to dick size. I'm immune to Same. my body type. I'm e- immune to all of... I'm dumb. Fine. I'm dumb. What are your sensitivities, Caleb? I think maybe... No, I don't think it's weight. I don't think... I thought it was. I don't think it is I don't is think either. it is either. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe to some degree, like not really. It depends on how deep the the like any family stuff. I'm trying to think. If you went like family, I think I would freeze. I truly, if you went from, like, like if sister, I did a sister, bunch of my, yeah, bunch Gabby, of my, like you made if you made a bunch of like, like pussy jokes or yeah, yeah. I'd probably be like, oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's like so that those are, are the jokes I want you to write down. His former Gabby, his Gabby, former, right, down, right down Gabby, his former employee, right down Gabby, right down Gabby. <laughs> um, former can't sue now. George, true, what are true. you sensitive about? I think job, like uh, would like if I'm bad at my job. Mm. What? No, I'm, no, that's uh, like you in comedy. It's like it's something mm. I take pride in. So if it, right. if it's something that I actually like acknowledge, like if the focus is slightly soft, because like right now where I don't have a monitor here, so I'm scared. The focus is going to be soft. If somebody mm. notices that and it's true. Yeah. Then I'll be angry. Or if like uh, Gilbert's camera is a little bit dark. Yeah. And like people notice that that I'm super sensitive about that. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, I want to so see you try to write roast jokes about that. <laughs> about, that's hard. Uh, yeah. That's very His hard. His lighting is. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> His guy's that lighting sucks. <laughs> What's that? That would hurt you? No, like, it's something I take pride in. I think in. you're the yeah. worst producer in podcasting. No, you don't. But uh, that would hurt me if you did. No, I really do believe that. But Name you somebody but you better. Don't. What? Why? Name somebody what are better. your reasons? 
You want to know why young Jamie's better? Because he has Rogan. No. Oh, he went to you that the talent wasn't big enough. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty deep cut. Oh, that was deep. Oh, oh, oh. And he's getting very good. He's that's what I want. And you, you get a green light on that. You know what? Next, that's the next part of the final form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That was really nice. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Whoa. That was quick. That was quick. So what did he say? <laughs> it was so. He it basically was so fast. said the reason the reason that young Jamie is a better producer is because he has a better podcaster to work with. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true a He's bigger podcaster yeah but the thing is is that um oh here we go you're doing the eyes oh god okay. you, you gave me the green light this is the not green light this is the real ant this is the this is the this is the okay oh my god george you got him <laughs> oh, oh my god yeah, 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 i'll tell you why i'll tell you why you got him you got him because that is his final resort he resorts to the this is a this is a and he has Yo, Wait. make a t-shirt. Make a t-shirt. This this is a, this is a, that's exactly what he does. He does the stutter thing when he has nothing, when he has no comeback. So he, I do a, I do <laughs> have a comeback. You know right. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, if, if George was, you know, Rogan's, you know, forget it. You're right. This is a, 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 you're right. All right, all right. You got me. I, I'm going to let that. I, I'm gonna, you're paying for the dinner tonight. <laughs> with, the fucking, with the fucking credit card. Not yeah, the company fine. card, my personal yeah, card this yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. All right. That, oh, that, wow. burn, that burn. Wow. You're right. Worth it. Oh. That was, was it worth it? Kind yeah. of like, my heart hurts for you a bit. <laughs> Why? Because as soon as you went for the this is a, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no, he has nothing. <laughs> I, her body language, I saw her shoulders go. <laughs> I know, it's disappointing. That was very disappointing, yeah. And, and now I'm going to feel bad for a week. This Wh is like. Why? Why? Because it's like, uh, I know, I'm doing the best I can. I like that. That's reverse. I have the little audience, but the audience that I do have is. I'd rather have my audience than Rogan's audience. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. I like that. See, I think that's another skill you have is to reverse roast and make people feel empathy for you right away, no matter what the yeah. situation. Yeah, because then you can just go to the truth. Then you, yeah. And the truth is right that no, no, there's nothing wrong with Rogan fans. I, I mean, I've I've I'm friends with them. I've met them, you know. Mm -hmm. But I love the people that really love me. Yeah, George. You know, and, there, you and, and and there's no and the people <laughs> that love, really love me. I love me, you guys too. Ooh, he's doing that thing. He does this. Oh, <laughs> bro, she does that? everything you yeah, yeah, yeah. do. She's like, it's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah. we have about ten minutes you know, left I'll, in this podcast. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I told you you had a green light, you right? Did, you, you, I'm just saying that you did, did un, unreparable damage. <laughs> <laughs> you forced him though. Yeah, I know. No, I did force you, and that's uh, my bad. But you fucked up. <laughs> Kidding? I don't give a fuck. And, wow. and like, anyway, um, uh, do you guys want an unhelpful advice? Yeah. Or questions. Okay, here we go. This is a good one. This was kind of the theme of the podcast earlier. Unhelpful advice with Bobby Kalila in Tulsa. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Bobby's still on his phone. Okay. Uh, hey, Tiger Belly crew. I work at a predominantly white company, and there's one guy who continues to make Asian jokes slash remarks to me because I'm a Korean American. Mm. His jokes aren't even funny, so I can't give him the benefit of a chuckle, but I've been wanting to shut him down with jokes. He asked if I had a tiger mom who made me play piano. What the fuck? I don't know this guy at all, but he says these things to me. He's ginger, so I feel like there's some potential for a joke. Do you guys have any good jokes slash comebacks? So this would be perfect for you, since... Okay. First of all, um, number one, he's a minority that's below you. <laughs> that's a good joke. No, I, I, that's just the truth, that's right? Like a comeback. So it's like you know, it's like it's like a little person coming up to me and doing little jokes to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you probably can't ride the rides, and it's like I just let it do it. Yeah, I would just let the little guy do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit you. you could get away with twenty years ago, right? I, I honestly think because you're gonna build resentment. Is you should you should set a boundary, and you should pull him aside and go. Listen, dude, it's like this is how I feel about your joke. I mean, no offense, I really like you as a guy, but it's like, it's just kind of like you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not funny, and I'm really sensitive about That's it. That's it. Yeah. If you used to just say, "Hey, dude, like, nice try," but like, they, they're just they're really unfunny. Like, like no, don't say it like that because that could get him mad. I, I would do it like. Why? So what? How do you deal with Andrew? 
What do you mean? This is also a ginger. Yeah, but yeah, they're he, like yeah, friends, but, friends. Yeah, we're f- actual friends, and I know things about him that um, I could destroy him. <laughs> okay. You know, I do. I know things that no one knows, right? And I could destroy him. He knows I can, right? So there's a limit, right? Are you gonna, what are you writing down that you're going to cut? Don't edit that out. I want that out no, there. keep that in. Keep that in, right? I'm just so, and he knows <laughs> things about me that no one else knows, right? So it's like we have each other hostage. That's a friendship. That's a friendship, <laughs> right? So Jesus. it's like, here's the deal. Find things out about this guy, <laughs> okay. right? Hold him hostage. Do ginger jokes back, right? Are there a couple good ones at the top of your yeah, head? Yeah, what are some really good ones you've thrown at Santino? I can read I some if you want me. And you I don't know. I, it's not that. It's, it's not even just ginger jokes. It's like um, you could do Irish jokes. Even though he, uh, Anderson Tino is um, Italian, right? But it's like I don't know what this dude looks like. But if you, you know, if I knew what he looked like, I would analyze his face, right? You you compare him, you know what I mean, to other ugly people, right? But what about if he, this guy is like a George and his delivery is not, you know, exceptional? All right. You know what I mean. So it's like. <laughs> I didn't say it was oh, bad. I, I, said it's I, I know, not I know what to do. I know what to do. Right. <laughs> I love how so, Kalala phrase. I can that. repeat. I can read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> so you're. Uh, I'm the uh, Korean the dude. Least right. Yeah. At work. You're. You're the redheaded podcast. dude. Hi. Hey, what's up, Mark? Um, I was just in the break room. I saw you, and I just thought, does this guy have a tiger mom or something? <laughs> That's what you do. You just stare at him. No response. So I'll go like that. Go like <laughs> Did you, come on, dude. Hey, man. I'm really sorry. That was fucked up. That's it. The people do do that. They feel uncomfortable, and they go, "Sorry, I didn't mean it." Yeah, and then you you that lets no because he'd have Doctor Doctor Ken's career if he did. But is that no? Because he'd have Doctor Ken's career if he did. Oh, he's really coming for you. Oh, fuck that hurt. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Why did you say he could come in at any moment? <laughs> <laughs> that, that really hurt. Uh huh. Look yeah, he has a better he's career. He's so confused. He has a better career. He's so confused. Dr. Ken, Dr. Ken has you a You know what? You know on my list of things that make him sensitive, Dr. <laughs> Ken is number three. So you fucked up there. Yeah, yeah. You did good there, I mean. It's not Dr. Ken. It's like other Asian guys that work more. <laughs> I've always been sensitive about that, right? Yeah. So that's a good one. I'm going to let you have it. Oh, right? my God. Wow. Babe, say a this is a... This is a this is a... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening. Yeah, oh, great no. pie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh no! This is a, this is a, this is a, yeah, thanks for listening. Oh no! Hey, Gil, give us yeah. another question. Uh, right, oh, can I just say there was no other place I'd rather be than here? Like, I, no, no, I gotta accept it because you made him feel uncomfortable. You gotta accept. This, it. I don't have to accept anything. I can let him sit with it. I want no, to. No, there is no. There is no other place I'd rather be. There is no other people I would rather be working fine. with. Fine. This is the honest truth. Like I, I, I believe you. George. I believe you, George. I would, he said something finally sweet. I know. That's thank you. Oh my God, George. <laughs> <laughs> the the evolution of this this podcast. <laughs> it was it. like I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, there's no right. hard feelings. It's fine. All right, here's uh, hey Tiger Belly family. I'm a huge fan of Tiger Belly Bad Friends. I bet you're a bigger fan of Doctor Ken. <laughs> <laughs> and, after, <laughs> and after years of listening to all these podcasts and the unhelpful uh, advice section of Tiger Belly, I decided it was time to write with the problem that is weighing on me. I have everything going for me in life. I'm a young man going to a good school with a girlfriend, a family that I love, but I have a crippling gambling problem. It started with weekly poker nights with friends. Soon I began to lose money, and after spending $200 I did not have, I thought I'd hit rock bottom. Then I continued to play. $200 became $1,000. This money is, is money I do not have. I thought I was getting better, but tonight I just lost over $100 on blackjack. I feel like a failure. I have everything going for me, yet I'm letting this gambling problem eat me up inside and out. And the worst part is, every time I think I've hit rock bottom, I'm back to gambling. Oh, that stops up. I, I already know the, my answer. I I think like um, Aquafina e. said the there was a similar question and Aquafina said watch Squid Games, right? Yeah, ah. it's also um, there you know Yohimbo the the Akira Kurosawa movie. There was a second movie called Sanjuro, I think, right? And in that movie, there is a man who had a gambling problem and he lost his wife and his kid in the gamble. He that's who he gambled. Oh mm. my god! Right. god. And so now the his um. His wife and his kid is with some warlord, right? Ugh. And he lives in the bushes next to the 
temple where his wife and he can't see his wife and kids or whatever. Mm. And Sinjuro or Yohimbo helps him get his family back by slaughtering a bunch of people. You know, this and that. anyway. Um, <laughs> what, should, what should this kid do with number the, one? So do what, not gamble your wife or yeah, kid. Yeah, number no. two, don't slaughter. But it, <laughs> but but the reason why that always because I saw that as a kid. Yeah. The reason why that always struck me was. It, it also growing up, we had a man who my parents hung out with name. I don't want to say his name, but he died. So fuck it. Mr. Yim okay. and Mr. Yim had a gambling problem yeah. and it was devastating for the family. OK, how so? It just was a problem that, I, you know, I could hear my parents talk about him and it just was problematic, like alcoholism. Right. Mm-hmm. So gambling addiction um, is just like porn addiction, drug addiction, any addiction. Right. It's mm-hmm. just a symptom of the actual problem, right? But you have to treat it severely because, you know, I know it's $100 one day, right? Mm. But there have been millions of people that have lost their houses and their lives. I mean, just all their income, right? And they're borrowing money for family. It, it, it's a fucked up, serious disease. So David Cho had you know, a gambling addiction. My dad. Your dad had mm. one, yeah. There's a reason why we were very rich and then really really poor yeah there was no middle ground my dad lost everything in a gamble he made um, it's serious yeah so dude it's not a light thing dude it's like you know i got rid of pornography cigarettes drugs and alcohol because it's like they're all you know just symptoms of the actual problem and the actual problem is i'm sad sing a, a song, song of gladness and cheer no i'll sing a song Guess who's better than me? D R K E K E N. Guess who's, who's better, better than, than me? J O E R O G G A N. What does that spell? Joe Rogan. Um, I have a question. Guess <laughs> who's getting replaced? <laughs> Send your resume <laughs> to Gilbert. I, I have, I have um, una pregunta. Please, una pregunta it. Um, my question is, what level of rage would consume your being if you were to find out that George Kimmel left us to start a podcast and produce Dr. Ken's? I, I honestly, um, I first of all, let me, I just want to reiterate this. You know what I mean? Because it's now you brought this up for <laughs> as a slam, but um, <laughs> I love that man with you every. Do ounce of my being right. you do you know, i really do i've always thought that dude was legitimately funny mm-hmm. even when i knew him back when, i've known him for 20 plus years yeah i really have um you know when i was um you know when i had that 17 year run of sobriety back in 2000 mm-hmm. um i had a real bad 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 opium addiction with vicodin and you know all that that type of type of stuff uh-huh. And um, during my withdrawal, he he was the guy monitoring me. Oh, that's sweet. You know what I mean? So um, I only have pure love for him. So um, if George left our podcast to produce his, I would just be, I mean, I would call Dr. Ken and go, there are other podcast producers are way better, but if you want to go <laughs> that direction and just be middle ground, <laughs> <All right. laughs> then... You know what I mean? That's but I would literally do that. Yeah. But I would be happy. So you so, sabotage his No, I would just tell him, I would go, why? It's like if you want to yeah. if you want a very low ceiling, yeah, get this guy. Yeah, no, fine. you know what, George? Uh, let's let's now he's roasting himself. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like know, that let, body. Let's, let, let's do this. All right, let's end like this. Okay. This is how I wanna I wanna end, okay? Please be affirmation. Number one, I don't have any hard feelings about anything said today. I think that it was a fun podcast. Experimental. Mm-hmm. Number two was experimental. Number two, uh, I want to say that um, this is going to sound so cheesy and so gross. And that people are going to be like, that's bullshit. But I do believe that you meet certain people at the right times. I do that. I believe that. And I believe that everything happens, you know what I mean, the way it's supposed to happen. I do. I, 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 I have a perfect life. I do, and I wouldn't change anything about my life. You know what I noticed what? about you? What? That I never noticed before? What? You have these moments of genuine joy. Gratefulness. Yeah. Like, 
and gratitude. Like the two things that I never, when every, when I would look at you, I'd be like, I don't think I've ever seen Bobby truly happy, like unconditionally happy. Like, so when I see you scooting around town and you're like laughing and, or you eat a piece of like a freaking, the ice cream salad and like you were genuinely like in present and mm. happy. Yeah, I feel that. I feel when I'm on, like even today on set, you know, I'm talking to the kids and, you know, one of the kids' dads I fuck around with, you know what I mean? And I'm really genuinely having fun, you know? And and I think people are like surprised that I'm so open and nice mm. because I have way more credits. <laughs> no, but I... Uh, There's old Bob. No, I, no that's not... No, I, I'm genuinely like <laughs> so just blessed to be on that show. You know, I'm blessed that I have the kind of work that I have right now. And everything's cool, man. Yeah. You know, uh, and I, I'm, I'm blessed to have the fans that I have. Thank you for listening, guys. And uh, we'll t- see you next time. Also, one I, last that was thing. Me done, that was me done. That's you Keep done? going. Keep going. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're done. Okay. I, I just wanted to say I love, I really do love Tulsa. I know I do too. I love this. It's a good city. It's a great city. Cute airport. Yeah, and what you guys are saying about people not noticing, I haven't noticed any of that. Everybody sees me and like they move out of the way in the hallways and everything. I don't oh, know what you guys are All right. Good night. White men are I special. Speech I just don't. I, 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 I haven't. That was our podcast. Bye.